In this lecture, we will study the generation of lens surface temperature, usually called LST, using lens headband and QGIS. In previous lecture, we studied the definition of NDMI, which means the vegetation moisture index, using lens headband. Also, we studied the measurement of water levels in vegetations using lens headband and QGIS. In this lecture, we will study the definition of land surface temperature, LST. Also, we will study the generation of LST using lens headband and QGIS. Land surface temperature is the radiative skin temperature of the land derived from infrared radiation. LST is the measurement of how hot the Earth's surface in a particular location. However, land surface temperature is completely different from the air temperature. Hence, land surface temperature and air temperature are different each other. Land surface temperature is a very important variable within the Earth's climate system and it generally used to measure the land environment. I will explain the generation of LST using lens band. There are the multiple steps for generating LST using lens band. First of all, thermal infrared band and NDVI, which means the vegetation index, are used to generate LST. The left table represents the lens F5 band designations, and the right table represents the lens A band designation. In the lens F5 band designation, band 6 is the thermal infrared band. And in lens at 8 band designation, band 10 and band 11 are the thermal infrared band. Hence, in lens at 5, band 6 can be used, and Y in lens at 8, band 10 and band 11 can be used to generate LST. Okay, I will explain the process for generating LST using Lenset. First, in step 1, select one thermal infrared band. Hence, in Lenset 5, it must be band 6. And in Lenset 8, it must be band 10 or 11. In step 2, spectral radiation should be calculated using the below equation. In this equation, the amount of spectral radiation is calculated by radiance multiplicated scaling factor for the band multiply data number value of the pixel plus radiance additive scaling factor for the band. Both scaling factor can be found in downloaded lens and metadata file. The name of the both scaling factor can be found in the below. In step 3, brightness temperature, it is also called the radiance temperature in Kelvin degree, is calculated using the below equation. In this equation, K1 and K2 represent the correction factors provided by USGS. And L also represents the spectral radiation calculated in the previous slide. K1 and K2 have the different values in different semi-infrared band. For example, band 6 in lens at 5, and band 10 in lens at 8, and band 11 in lens at 8. So, you can choose the appropriate K1 and K2 
values depending on the semi-infrared band you use in the research or your job. The final step, the step 4, the LST in Celsius degree can be calculated using the below equation. In this equation, the emission rate was used. The emission rate was determined by the NDVI range, the vegetation index. The below table represents the NDVI range and the emissivity values. So you can choose the appropriate emissivity value depending on the NDVI range. There are the multiple steps for generating LST using QGIS. QGIS provides a plugin the named RS and GIS for generating LST using Landsat Band. First of all, install the plugin RS and GIS in QGIS. I recommend using QGIS version higher than 3.10 for installing this plugin. After the plugin installed, open the RS and GIS plugin interface. Next, click the LST option for the derived output. Finally, click Start Processing button in RS and GIS plugin. I will do the practice in next slide. Okay, let's have the practice for installing the RSGIS plugin and generating the LST using the plugin. First of all, go to the plugins menu. Then click the manage and install the plugins option. In the plugins options, in we need to search the RS and GIS plugins. Then we found it. Then click the install plugin button. And the plugin successfully installed. Then close the plugins interface. Then in go to the plugins menu again and go to the RSGIS plugin interface. Then we found the downloaded Lensa file with it so it can be choose compressed or extracted file. Then we select the compressed Lens file. Then also we can check the LST option for the extra derived output. Then click the start processing button. After the processing was completed, the one folder was created. Then we can click the folder and then we go to the output folder and click one more time. We can see two LST images were generated. Since we use the Lenset 8, the LST can be generated from band 10 or band 11. So this image was is the LST generated from band 10 of lens 8 and this one is the LST generated from band 11 of lens 8 so you can choose either of them then we can drag the lens uh, lens surface temperature file 
in QGIS. Then we can see the generated LST in QGIS. The land surface temperature LST can be utilized in many fields. For example, LST can be utilized for monitoring urban heat effect. LST also can be used for monitoring bare soil condition. Also, LST can be used for monitoring plant health. LST can be used for measuring the land environment. LST also can be used for estimating climate change. LST also can be used for calculating the Earth's energy budget. Thank you for watching this lecture. Please subscribe and push like button. Thank you.